Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, OPCAT LIFE, PhilSet, and all of those things. And today it's part of our Math Monday series. Every Mondays I try to post one new video lesson on math to try to help you out sa inyong susunod na exam. So if you don't want to miss any of these lessons, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as a new video posts. This one in particular is another ano ba, fundamentals video. So part siya ng series natin on fundamentals, yung mga kailangan-kailangan nyo talaga ma-master in order for you to ace that next exam. Today we're going to talk about digits, yung tawag sa kanila sa bawat place, and also a little bit about rounding off ng numbers. And in order for me to explain better kung ano yung pinag-uusapan natin ngayon, I'll switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's talk about digits and rounding off. I figured uh, isa to sa mga fundamental lessons na gusto kong ihabol na ituro sa inyo kasi marami ang naguguluhan pa sa tawag doon sa places ng digits and marami rin ang naguguluhan when it comes to rounding off at kung ano ba yung rules nito. Okay? So pag-usapan natin yan today. Alright, let's take this number for example. 3 to 1.123. Ang first ko gustong ituro sa inyo is ano yung difference na between a digit and a number. Now, a digit is just one of the numbers dito. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ang number 3 is a digit. A number 1 is a digit. Those are digits. Pero once na pinagsama-sama muna sila lahat, Kahit made up of multiple digits, katulad dito, animang digits na yan, that is what you call a number. So, ang 321.123 is a number, pero ang 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3 in this number, those are digits. Okay? So, uh, wag nyo lang magkakamalian yun kasi pag hinahanap kung ano yung digit, it's a part of a number. Okay? Now, now that we have that squared away, pag-usapan natin yung tawag dun sa places nila. Now, I know some of you are already familiar with this, so this may be just a, a refresher for you. You can uh, watch yung next part na, which is yung rounding off na, na pinag-usapan na natin. Pero, mas maganda talaga if you can uh, master this. Kasi, sa exam, minsan, ang hinihinging sagot, ay eh, pinapa-round off pa nila. So, round off to the nearest tenth, nearest thousand, near, nearest tens. So, alin dito ang alam nating mga positions. Okay? Now, let's start with the bigger side, no? This number right here, yung 1 dyan, that is what we call the ones na level ng number. So, lahat ng mga nandun sa pinaka-left, okay, sa kadikit na kadikit ng decimal point, yun yung ones digit. Okay? Now, yung mas malaki dun, di ba, is the tens. Okay, yan yung tens na place ng number na yan. Bakit? Kasi yung tens basically means na, kunyari, in this number, you have two tens. Dalawang ten. Okay, kasi nga ang twenty is dalawang ten. Yun lang na talaga ang pinaka-concepto nun. Kaya ang three, tinatawag ding, in this number naman, ay tinatawag na hundreds. Kasi ang ibig sabihin nun, yung three na yan, ang ibig sabihin sa number ay may tatlo kang tigwa one hundred or three hundred. Now, that part, I think, all of you already know. Hanggang, ta hanggang sa pinakadulo, hanggang sa uh, tens of thousands, hanggang sa millions, alam ninyo yung place nung mga yon. The confusion begins doon sa decimal na part. Okay? Bakit? Kasi yung itong number na yan, yung 1, which is yung pinaka nasa right naman nung decimal point, hindi oneth ang tawag dyan. Ang tawag dyan ay tenths. Now, bakit? And when I was younger, tinatanong ko rin yan eh, bakit ganun? Kasi yung nasa pinaka, nakadikit sa decimal sa left side, once ang tawag. Bakit yung nasa right side, hin walang once, <laughs> tenth agad. Now, ang concept niyan is because yung one na yan, ang ibig sabihin niyan is that each one of those represent a tenth of a number. Ibig sabihin, one tenth. Okay, one over ten. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng decimal na yan is that may one over ten, or part siya nung isang digit, hindi na buo yung number, hindi na buo yung isang one. Okay? So, it's one-tenth. Kaya yung sunod naman na katabi niya ay hundreds naman ang tawag kasi ang ibig sabihin niyan, kung meron ka na uh, zero point, kunyari lang, zero point zero two, ang ibig sabihin niyan, you have two over one hundred or two hundredths. In the same way na yung zero point one is one-tenth. Kasi one over then siya. Kaya rin yung number 3 na yan is called na thousandths. Bakit? Kasi, ang ibig sabihin nun, kung gagawin mo yung fraction, that is 3 over 1,000. 
So, itong 1, 2, 3 na yan ay yung 1 tenth plus 2 over 100 plus 3 over 1,000. Yun ang ibig sabihin niya. Kaya nagsimula siya sa uh, nagsimula siya sa tenth at hindi sa once. Kasi walang one once. Kasi ito na yun. Okay? Kung sasabihin mong one, one na lang. Diba? Sham na one. Ganon. Nine. Pero yung parts, tenth siya dahil over ten, hundredth siya dahil over one hundred, and thousand siya dahil over one thousand. Kaya yung mga naguguluhan din sa pagkoconvert ng uh, decimal into fraction, you would notice na kung gagawin mong fraction yung 1, 2, 3, ang gagawin mo basically is 123 at kung ilan yan, yun yung 0 sa 1,000 sa ilalim. So, 1, 2, 3. So, that is 1 and then tatlong 3. 1, 2, 3. Kasi nga again, this is 123,000. Okay? So, let's just take a quick look dun sa lahat ng mga names nila. No? Okay, again, hundreds, tens, ones, Pag gumanoon ka, papunta ka sa, sa thousands, sa ten thousands, and so and so, and so forth. Dito sa decimal, you start out with tenths. Tapos ang kasunod niya hundreds, thousands. You have the THS. Kasi nga, we're talking about fractions or parts of one. Okay? Now, now that you know that, it's easier for us to proceed to the rounding off lesson. Okay, now. Let's talk about this muna. We have a num number right here made up of digits like we talked about earlier, 724.564. In the exam, you may encounter questions like that. So round of uh, 724.564 to the nearest 100. Now, what do you do with that? Ang rule dyan is that if, it's, if the number sa right is uh, lower Okay, then 5, so you have 4, 3, 2, 1, of course, 0. Then you will round down. And if it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you will round up. Let me show you. It's always better to show you than to just explain, no? Ito, to the nearest 100. Ibig sabihin, ang 100 dyan is the 7, right? Yan yung pinaka-100 na level nung number na yan. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, titina mo yung number na sa right. Ang number niya sa right ay 2. So, kung number niya sa right ay 2, siya ay round down. So, the answer would be 7, 0, 0. Kasi lahat ngayon ng number na kasunod nung pinaka place na yan ay gagawin mo ngayong 0. Okay? Bakit? Dahil 2 ito. Na kung kunyari 6 yan, 7, 5, you would put 8 instead of 7. Okay? Now, another example. To the nearest 10 naman. Ang 10 is this 2. Ang kasunod niya is 4. So, ito ay lower than 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. At dahil lower siya, this will be 700 and, and then dahil ito yung place na sinabi dun sa tanong, you stop at that, you have 2, 0. Okay? And then 0 na kasi yung the rest. Now, if you talk about the nearest tenth, o, oh, ito na. Tenth na pinag-uusapan, ibig sabihin ito yon, Yan yung tenth. So, ibig sabihin dyan ka mag sisimula. Look at the number on the right. On its right, it's 6. Ibig sabihin, you will round up. So, the answer would be 7, 2, 4. You'll just copy kung ano yung binigay. Point, kung saan yung hinahanap, which is yung tenth na level. At dahil 6 siya, instead of 5, gagawin mo siyang 6. Ira round up mo siya, dadagdagan mo ng isa yung number na ito. Okay? Pag round down, again, pag round down, it will stay the same. You'll just put 0 sa lahat na natitira. At kung round up naman, you'll add 1 and then turn the, the rest of the digits to 0. Okay? Next, you have to the nearest hundredth. So, ang hundredth na number is 6. At ang katabi niya, which is 4, ay mas mababa kaysa sa 5. So, big sabihin nun, and I round down. So, in this case, the answer would be 7, 2, 4. Kukopyahin lang natin. Point, 5. And then yung 6 will remain as 6 kasi ang 4 ay mas mababa naman sa 5. So that would be 0.56. Okay? Ganun na, uh, yun yung pinaka-concepto niya. So uh, again, it's all about familiarity doon dun sa mga places. And uh, of course, it's a rule ng rounding off. Again, kapag the number ay um, 9, 8, 7, 6, at 5, kasama ang 5 doon, you round up. At kapag naman mas mababa, you have your 4, 3, 2, 1, you will round down. Ibig sabihin, hindi magbabago yung number sa place na yon. Kapag round up, magdadagdag ka ng isa. Okay? 
Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila para masamit tayong matulungan. And for this particular video, there will be a quick quiz na libre for you guys. The link will be at the end screen nitong video na to. If you, so if you stay until the end, you will see a link to the quick quiz. It will look like a thumbnail. And uh, I would love for you guys to answer that quick quiz din. Kasi education without application is just basically a distraction. So mas maganda kung mai-apply nyo siya right away. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to the video www.facebook.com slash team Laika for more information and if you want this particular shirt that I'm wearing it's a trying hard shirt net then there will be also a link then sa baba sa ating founder shop for you to get one of these now um itong mga funds na may reach natin for these um from these shirts are actually going to go to a mini library slash student center that we're building next year for a community somewhere in Batanga so I'd love for you guys to be part of that project so thanks guys for watching and as always if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para wala kayo mister more lessons coming up and I would love to uh, teach you more of the things that I know hopefully makatulong sa inyo sa inyong susunod na exam so thanks guys for watching never stop learning aja aja kaya nyan I'll see you in my next video and bye for now